The city of Knoxville is now forcing some businesses to close to limit the spread of the coronavirus. Knoxville Mayor India Kincannon answered some more questions about that decision today. But the reason we decided to move forward today is because we have a lot of families in Knoxville who've been traveling due to spring break for University of Tennessee, Knox County Schools and other entities. And they have been visiting places that may have already experienced widespread cases of COVID-19. And we are just now learning through the scientists how, uh, how contagious it is. And people may be coming back and not knowing. They may be completely asymptomatic and they may never uh, have symptoms, but they can still carry it and transmit it to other people. You know, frequent communication with Dr. Buchanan, and I think she and her team are doing excellent work in very, very challenging circumstances. Uh, we decided to be uh, a little more um, proactive because Knoxville, the city of Knoxville, is a more densely populated place where the risk of uh, transmission is higher. So I feel like it's incumbent upon me as mayor to do whatever we can to protect the public health. And I know that uh, she agrees with those sentiments and just has a, a little di different strategy. Um, but we're on the same page about fighting COVID-19 as a community. And um, we're, we're doing everything we can as a county and as a city to, to work together and uh, prevent the transmission of this disease. And of course, I uh, didn't proceed with this lightly because the economic impact is real. And I'm already hearing from many, many people who are already experiencing the economic impact. So the fact is the economic impact is happening uh, no matter what, because businesses are already closing. People are worried about protecting their employees. Um, and so we are doing this because if we act now, not only will it help flatten the curve and make sure that COVID-19 doesn't spread so much that our hospitals can't manage it, it can also mitigate the impact economically. So it's a short-term pain, but then slower, you know, that mitigates the long-term hardships. Many, many businesses and gyms and bars and restaurants have already closed on their own volition because they are good citizens and they want to prevent the spread of this virus. Uh, for those who are still open, many of them have already altered their, their um, practices because they're already changing to takeout only and that sort of thing. And, and many of the others have seen a significant drop in business. I've had businesses come to me and say, please require us to close because then it can you know, help us uh, deal with insurance issues and other things. It can help our employees go out and seek unemployment. So our goal is to encourage people to comply uh, and not uh, be draconian about it, but to go out there and uh, expect people to comply based on the media that's getting the message out. Um, and if we need to go into more um, enforcement, there's citations and other actions as needed. This is a very fluid situation and we are responding to things as they unfold and always keeping the public health as our top priority. Reassure people that by practicing social distancing now, that can mitigate the impact of the disease and the economic, economic fallout. So uh, it, it is uh, worrisome and it's a big change in the norms. You know, our schools are closed. Now many of the, the places where we like to go out and socialize are closed, but the reason is not because we need to uh, have, you know, uh, be, be fearful so much as that we need to practice social distancing. And it's really hard for people to uh, change their normal practices, uh, but this is a way that will encourage that even more. And